Blackhawks, what are you doing? Stop! That's it! We're done! We're done! I am shocked! Oh, you better believe I have questions, comments, and concerns. First off, and if you're like, whoa, Lex, I don't know anything about hockey. Very fast-paced. If a fast-paced sport is not your thing, hockey is not for you. But this video still is, though, because hopefully I'm at least somewhat entertaining. I'm gonna get into it without getting into it. Yeah, we lost. I'm gonna say, though, that there were some calls that either were made or some calls that were not made that should have been made or should have not been made. But you know what? One thing I'm not is a sore loser. Yeah, we did do pretty bad in the playoffs. Like, really bad. But all I'm gonna say is that player definitely did intentionally push Corey Crawford. Allow me to sob over this year's playoffs hat. <laughs> But I believe in the Hawks, always have, always will, and hey, you can't be perfect all the time. I mean, the Hawks are perfect pretty much 98% of the time. All the products I use, I've listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below, or if you feel like having a, uh, a hockey discussion, or a makeup discussion, I mean, either one. I also found it appropriate to wear this tank top during this tutorial to remind the Hawks of what they were put on this ice to do. So I ended up changing shirts because, you know, I got to paint, so I need to, you know. For the hockey puck, you're actually going to have two different options. I'm going to be using a face painting sponge, which I just got at Michael's Craft Store, or you can go to Dick's Sporting Goods where I found these, and you can cut them. Uh, they are foam hockey pucks. So those are your options. Don't try to use this clay stuff called floof because it's not going to work for you. I'm first taking my sponge and cutting it accordingly to make it look a little more like a hockey puck. This is floof, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, this is not what a hockey puck looks like. I'm also then painting it black so it looks more like a hockey puck and less like a sponge. Once you're done painting your hockey puck, you could set that bad boy aside. I saw something on the internet the other day and it was like a dog's tinder and it was like, if you're into bad boys, swipe left because I am a good boy. I was dying. I'm then just applying some light concealer and light foundation to make myself look more pale, which is actually my actual foundation color. This foundation application right now is proof I have a tan or a slight sunburn. It's, it's the same thing when you're a redhead. <laughs> yeah, lol, wow. I then measured out the approximate size of the puck and put a little bit of spirit gum down. Make sure you tap the spirit gum to make it sticky. Taking a little bit of Vaseline on my fingertips and some makeup wax so it doesn't stick to my fingers, I then rolled it in little worms and stuck it onto the spirit gum. Continuing to have Vaseline on your fingertips, smooth down the sides into your skin. You can then use a spatula to open up your wound a little bit more so it looks less like wax on your face, and apply some sealer. Using alcohol-based paints, which I'm actually using for majority of this look, I added in some blood tone and some black since I want a lot of my wounds and my face to look frostbitten. Go ahead and apply spirit gum in the center, tap it, and stick on your puck. You can then add some drips of blood if you want and some discoloration around the wound. <gasps> I can use my Necro palette! I never get to use my Necro palette! And I'm applying gray, purple, and black tones around this wound with a sponge that has little holes pulled out of it so it gives it more of a broken up effect. The more alcohol you have on these paints, the more translucent they're going to be, which I also have a video on those paints. If you guys want to see it, I'll put it in the corner. Taking liquid latex, I'm adding small patches around my face and neck to create the effect that skin will be peeled back later. And before using liquid latex, make sure you do a patch test to make sure you're not allergic. Going back to the alcohol-based paints, I'm first applying some purple around my lips and then going back in with black. I also decided I was a fan of that light gray that I used earlier and applied it all over my entire face. For the other wounds on my face, before I peel back the latex, I'm applying some coral tones, purple tones, and a smidge bit of black, but all very alcoholed down. To add all the coloring, I looked up photos of actual frostbite, which if you are a younger viewer, just be aware that they're pretty graphic, so I wouldn't recommend looking them up. Allow me to be your reference. Once your latex is dry, you can peel back certain parts and make little holes to make it appear as if that skin has been pulled away. To give myself a smidge bit of zombie-like eye, that are sunken and I added a little bit of gray underneath my eyes as well as some black and some pink eyeshadows. To apply my frost, I put down some spirit gum and I just used the little confetti stuff that you can find at like a party store. See, look at that. Suddenly, less terrifying. I also made my eyebrows white, a little bit of Lexorcist, and smudged my eyeliner out. You can also apply some white mascara to the tips of your lashes. Oh god, I am by no means left-handed. Oh god. Uh... Alright, not horrible. Now I'm referencing an actual home jersey. I wanted to do an away jersey, but because I usually wear the white winter classic, but I figured a red jersey would be more appropriate. I'm also making the tomahawks kind of forward a little bit, that way you can recognize the jersey, you know, from the forward. Viewpoint. I continued to paint on the tomahawks using the according colors in body paint. Struggled a little bit painting my right shoulder, but you know who else struggled. Does the internet give out awards for painting left-handed when you're right-handed because I, uh, uh, 
Uh, I think they should. Ah. Uh. I then started with the collar, first painting down white, and then going in with black. Also using black and white for the little logo in the center, and surrounding that with red body paint. Of course, I then went ahead and painted the rest of the jersey red. Added quite a bit of black shading using a mix of black eyeshadow and black body paints, and of course added some ice to my jersey. 